So my name is Adam and I build Benito boats. Yeah, there's no, it's been eight months since we did our first shoot with the captain at our factory down on the Gold Coast and uh, a lot's changed. We've uh, doubled our shed space, so we've gone from about 350 square metres to about 750. Um, we've doubled our employees, so we've now got five employees. So there's more Benitos out and about than uh, yeah, you would imagine, yeah. We're nearly at 200, we're at 197, I believe, off the top of my head. So we're, yeah, we're creeping towards 200 very rapidly. Behind us is our first Benito 660. This has been one hell of an extra ride building this boat, but it was needed. We wanted to go faster, further, and for longer, and um, we just needed a bigger, bigger platform to do that that uh, has the ultimate offshore ride and um, massive fuel capacity, yeah. The opportunity came up to buy Benito, and I'm like, this mould would be just perfect for us because we want it to still be trailable under the three and a half tons, which it is, it's well under three and a half tons, but still be super soft, have a huge fuel capacity, and also has a great pedigree as well. So it comes from a great line of boats. Anyway, I scrolled through about 4,000 Facebook posts trying to find the moulds again, and I managed to find them. I sent the guy a message and he wasn't at the stage where he's willing to sell the molds. And um, I said, if you ever want to sell them, let me know, I'm serious. Anyway, a couple of weeks later on Sunday night at seven o'clock, I got a text message. And yeah, the next weekend we're up to look at them and put a deposit on them before we actually officially took over Benito Boats. So we had to keep it a secret for a little while, but yeah, it all came to fruition. And here it is, 12 months later. Uh, let's just say it starts with a C <laughs> and ends with craft. That's where it comes from. <laughs> I can't go any more, any more into that, otherwise it might be short. <laughs> the previous builder said he was willing to bet his left nut that it was the softest riding boat in Australia. <laughs> well, top three soft riders, softest riding boats in Australia. So yeah, now that we've experienced it, I, I believe him. Yeah, I 100% believe him, don't doubt it. I've taken it on some unreal fishing trips in some horrendous weather and kept up with much bigger boats with way more power. It, it, it's just second to none, yeah, the way it rides. It moves water, this boat, like nothing else. The deep V and the, the rounded bottom, it just falls in. You've like, you got 53 degrees of dead rise in the bow and 25 at the back. So it's among the deepest V boats in Australia. But you can't see it here, but from the bow, it's got no revert, uh, planing strikes down low. So it allows the water, the boat just to fall into the waves instead of wanting to lift, which I believe gives it softness. It's like being on a cloud in terms of, yeah, being offshore in horrendous weather. <laughs> So at the moment, uh, we currently just built the boat um, with the molds that we had. Did some different things with the bait tanks to put them into the corners instead of wasting space in the cockpit, give you maximum fishing space and a flat transom. Uh, but we are working on the 660 centre console. So that's gonna be really special, uh, massive console. So two people can stand behind it with plenty of protection, big screens and uh, tons of space on the deck. So. It's gonna be an awesome boat to see. Oh, we've, um, with the 660, we've taken features of the Benito. So your recessed bait tanks in the corners, your recessed cleats and your recessed bow roller and anchor hatch system. So it's all super ergonomic, same as in the 560. And yeah, we know it works and it's gonna work well in the 660. At the back, we've got a 300 horsepower Yamaha custom trim tabs, which it really needs. It's a big boat, it's got a lot of V, needs a lot of uh, force to keep the bow down and move and uh, manipulate the weights with the wind um, if it pushes it off its V um, at any point. Benito custom bait board, Simrad electronics, you've got your autopilot 175M through hull transducer, so through hulls are not a problem on any of our boats, they're all doable. Full stainless, it's all custom. Basic boat motor trailer package with a 300 horsepower Yamaha, same as what I've got here, um, starts at 126 
But this boat, as fitted with the trim tabs and your 550 litre tank and all your electrics, all your stainless steel options like your bow rail and your target top and your electric, uh, electric anchor winch, sorry, on the bow, um, comes in at about $180,000. I remember watching the captain when I was in high school. I think I was about 15 years old. I'd come home from school and watch your videos and see the Eden Crafts and the Critter Crafts and the White Pointers, etc. And um, yeah, I never thought I'd be here with my own <laughs> doing it, which is really special and an awesome experience.